Carlos Alcaraz versus Stefano Tsitsipas is the second quarter final for the men's French Open for 2023. And both guys have been super impressive to get to this stage. Tsitsipas started the tournament off as the number five seed and will play Vesely in the first round. And after dropping the third set, Steph would have to fight to win 7-5-6-3-4-6-7-6. In the second round, he'd take on Bayana. And after a close second set, Steph would get through in straights 6-3-7-6-6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Schwartzman, who have been very impressive this week. This is no problem for Steph, getting through in straight sets 6-2. 6-2-6-2-6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the qualifier, Ovna, who had taken out Korda and Fanini along the way. But again, no problem for Steph. Getting through in straights, 7-5-6-3-6-love to get to the quarterfinals. Algra started the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Kaboli, the qualifier, in the first round. This is no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straight sets. Six love, six two, seven five. In the second round, he'd take on Daniel. And after dropping the second set, Alcaraz would fight back to win. Six one, three six, six one, six two. In the third round, he'd take on the 26 seed Shapovalov, a player that he'd never played before. And this was no problem for Alcaraz, demolishing Shapo, six one, six four, six two. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 17th seed Musetti, who he had lost to in Hamburg on the clay last year. Now Cruz was on another level, dominating Musetti 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played four times before with Alcaraz leading the head-to-head 4-0, including two matches on clay, one actually in the final of Barcelona a couple of weeks ago, where Alcaraz won in straight sets. If Sissipas is going to win this one, he needs to bring the variety. He also needs to be a little bit less shanky on that backhand, maybe hit some sliced backhands and mix it up. Also, the backhand down the line was very effective from what Shapovalov and what Musetti was able to do, but they weren't able to do it enough. So Tsitsipas is going to bring that variety and try and beat a man that he's never beaten. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. He knows exactly how to beat Tsitsipas in these matchups. He's never lost a step before, so the confidence is on his side. And he's been bringing so much variety, so much aggression on these courts. So he just has to do that and he'll get the win. This is such a fun matchup. And Alcaraz, of course, shouldn't feel threatened by Tsitsipas at this tournament. And especially because he won in Barcelona only a couple months ago. I'm going to go with Alcaraz to win this one in four sets. I think Steph might get out a set off him. Maybe the second or third sets. But I think Alcaraz is going to be too solid and beat Steph in four. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?